Hey guys, Sean C. Phillips here, just doing a little quick video. I just got out of seeing the new Woody Allen film from Rome with Love. Now, um, I'm going to say there was pretty much just me and one other person in the theater. It was like the 9.30 show. And, you know, normally it would be pretty busy, but I guess no one really is interested in this. Which is a shame because I liked it a lot better than the other one that he did with Owen Wilson. I think that was like... Mid you know, midnight in Paris, which wasn't bad. This, to me, was just a little boring and wasn't that interested in. I like the cast in this one. And it's actually, Woody Allen is actually in this one. He hasn't been in a movie, you know, that he directed in a while. It's been, like, since... I think it was, I don't know, it's been like probably like five or six years. Something like that. He's real selective with the movies that he puts himself in of his. There was a period of time when he was always kind of in them. But this one was definitely, you know, it's a little bit kind of confusing to explain. It's about a bunch of different, you know, people who are in Rome, like different stories. It's not like one of those ones when they all connect. It's not that kind of one. It's more like just like, I think it was like four or five different stories. One of them was Jesse Eisenberg and his girlfriend, and they live in Rome, and um, the girlfriend's friend comes and visits, and there's a whole kind of love thing going on. Um, the other one, oh, there's also Alec Baldwin's character who was around with um, Jesse Eisenberg, and the whole kind of, you know, existence of him is kind of weird, and like, I don't want to go too much into it, but he did a really good job in it. Um, there's also a Rome guy who lives in Rome with his wife and family, who all of a sudden just becomes famous, and there's really no explanation for why and he seems very confused by it and he's the actor who was in Life is Beautiful very depressing but good movie um, and there was like another story about a couple and their um, wife went out to get her hair done and during the same time the husband had a prostitute come to the room that was paid for and it was all this kind of stuff going on and she has things going on so it's one of those kind of movies with a whole lot of different things going on and there's not really too much you can say because that's really what it is I really like the theme song they had in this too it had this sort of like like 1973 style song they kind of played throughout the entire movie you know during most of the scenes and I kind of like this you know I think this is way more kind of like um kind of like the Christina Ricci one um I think anything else I think kind of that kind of writing and the other thing with this one too is it's oh, I always find it kind of funny how all the male characters in, the, in his movies are always pretty much the same as Woody Allen you know he kind of writes them the same they're all pretty nervous things like that like my favorite like performance of Woody Allen as an actor in someone else's movie is that scenes from a mall movie which I feel like no one really talks about and the whole movie really is just him at the mall walking around with his wife and then like all kinds of things they you know happy and then go through a, all kinds of issues at the mall but though this one though I like I said I really thought this was a good movie um it is kind of weird, though, that it's not really getting a whole lot of attention compared to Midnight in Paris, which people are flocking to. It's kind of weird how, like, certain movies people go crazy about, and I guess it's because of Owen Wilson in this one, doesn't have... I mean, I thought people liked Jesse Eisenberg and Ellen Page, but I guess they're not as big of a draw as Owen Wilson is. That's all I can guess. Um... But that's really all I have to say. This is a real quick little review of the movie. I think, you know, if it's playing near you, and I think it got a pretty wide release because Midnight in Paris had a really limited release at first and then went everywhere. But if this is playing near you, definitely th I would check it out. Anyway, though, uh, thanks a lot for watching and for subscribing. And like I said, if any of you guys are Comic-Con, uh, I'll see you there and definitely check out my Comic-Con video about a signing there so you can, you know, see me there. Anyway, though, thanks a lot for watching and for subscribing, and I'll see you guys later. By the way, I'm just wearing this hat because it was downstairs. I mean, in the garage. See you later. Bye.